Hello, and welcome to another episode of my Coffee Break Art Classes. In this video, we're going to look at the room shown in the Arnolfini portrait, painted by Jean van Eyck in 1434. When people look at the painting, apart from the question about who the couple are and is she pregnant, they wonder about the room. Is it a bedchamber upstairs in the Arnolfini house or is it a downstairs reception room where some people claim beds were often placed? Firstly, remember that this is a painting, not a photograph. Every object you can see has been placed by the artist and painstakingly painted with immense accuracy. And an object painted realistically doesn't mean it was real. Many objects in the room obviously have some symbolic significance, but never rule out the possibility that something might have been placed just for aesthetic reasons or to add a complementary colour. So let's have a closer look at the room. Oozing with opulence and luxury, the furnishings are draped with expensive fabrics. Overhead, a chandelier, expensive like everything else in the room, but see on the left there's a burning candle and on the right there's an extinguished one. Uh, and this is shown obviously to send some sort of message, although with thousands of possible interpretations, it's impossible to know what the message is. The room shouts the wealth of the people portrayed, but is it a bedchamber in their house or is it a downstairs reception room? Clue lies in a painting that Van Eyck had done a few years before, a painting called Woman Bathing. Although the original is long gone, there are two contemporary copies which are considered very accurate. And we can also verify the original by looking in a painting done by Willem van Hyck in 1628 called The Gallery of Cornelis van der Gest, where the original Van Eyck woman bathing can be seen on the wall in the background. The interest to us is not the unerotic lady having a wash, but the room itself. Note the bed on the right, the window on the left, the fruit on the ledge with the bench under it. There's a draped bench against the back wall and a round mirror in front of the window. Take the ladies away and add the figures from the Arnolfini portrait and it's the Arnolfini room, it's identical. Therefore, the room shown in the Arnolfini picture did not come from the Arnolfini's house at all. It was possibly imagined by the artist and is identical to a room the artist had put in a previous painting, even down to the bed, the bench, the window and the fruit on the ledge. He obviously considered it a good layout and even might have had a set in his studio which he could work from. All he had to do was tart it up to illustrate the wealth of the Arnolfini family. But, as is often claimed, the roof was certainly not a copy of a room in the Arnolfini house. This is one of a series about the Arnolfini portrait. There are more on my channel. Thank you for watching this Coffee Break art class. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment and uh, click the subscribe button. See you next time.